वेलकम टू लेटेस्ट अपडेट प्रोग्राम द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज जेनेटिकली इंजीनियर्ड फ्लाई अ टीम ऑफ साइंटिस्ट फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज जेनेटिकली इंजीनियरिंग अ कॉमन फ्लाई स्पीशीज टू हेल्प मैनेज ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट मोर इफेक्टिवली द लार्वे ऑफ द ब्लैक सोल्जर फ्लाइज आर ऑलरेडी यूज कमर्शियली टू प्रोसेस ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट इंक्लूडिंग फूड वेस्ट जेनेटिक मॉडिफिकेशन कुड एनेबल दैम टू हैंडल अ वाइडर रेंज ऑफ वेस्ट मटीरियल्स एंड इन प्रोसेस produce valuable compounds such as fatty acids and enzymes these compounds will be useful in textiles and pharmaceuticals and also in the production of lubricants and biofuels black soldier flies are found on all continents except antarctica the fly larvae which is also used for animal feed can consume up to double their body weight in waste daily Currently a significant portion of organic waste ends up in the landfills where it decomposes anaerobically releasing methane a greenhouse gas much more potent than carbon dioxide the study suggests that using engineered bsf could provide a sustainable solution by converting organic waste into high quality animal feeds industrial enzymes and fertilizers Now let's discuss about genetic engineering. It involves the use of technologies which are used to manipulate, modify and alter the genetic makeup of an organism. It is a technology where in a specific gene can be selected and implanted into the recipient organism. Now is the time for practice question. Which gas is primarily released during the anaerobic decomposition of organic waste? Oxygen, nitrogen, methane or carbon monoxide? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for more such updates. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.